In this video, I'm going to give you five secret techniques of working with images using ChatGPT. Let's get into it. So for this first task, we're going to extract text from an image. The image contains text from a customer testimonial for NILC training. And we're going to ask ChatGPT to also create a shortened version of the extracted text for use in an email signature. So we've uploaded the image here, as you can see, using the uh, paperclip icon. You can just click, click that and then go upload from computer or from OneDrive, which we've done. And then the prompt reads, extract the text from this image, which contains a testimonial and create a shortened version for use in an email signature. So just fire that off and you can see the image there displayed. Chat GPT is now working on the task in hand. It states that it is analyzing and any second it should come up with the extracted text and a version that people working for NILC training can use in their email signature. So there we have the text that has been extracted there. And let's just cross reference that. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, word for word. It has got that, uh, got that correct. If I want to just obtain that text, this is handy because I can just click on copy code. And then as requested, it's also created a shortened version for use in an email signature. Brilliant training. The course was intense, yet made informal and memorable. I passed both exams with minimal stress. So job done. That is the end of the first task, extracting text from an image using ChatGPT. So for task two, we're going to use ChatGPT to create the text for a LinkedIn post based on a photo. So the photo has been uploaded here. It is worth noting that as well as using the paperclip icon and uploading directly from your PC, you can actually drag and drop the photo or image into the prompt area here. Prompt we're going to use is create the text for a promotional LinkedIn post, including five suitable hashtags based on this photo of me presenting a training course for job seekers on behalf of NILC training in Cardiff. So just going to fire that off to ChatGPT and it's come straight back saying here is a LinkedIn post based on the photo of you presenting a training course and we have the copy for the post here. So uh, it's picked up the fact, fact about the job search, which I mentioned in the prompt. And interestingly, although they are barely readable in the photo, it's picked up the uh, text on the screen here, which talks about privacy settings, engaging with potential employers and joining relevant groups. So uh, top marks there for ChatGPT, picking that out. And it has also indeed added five hashtags in as requested. So job done. And as ChatGPT says, this text should help you engage with your LinkedIn audience while highlighting your expertise and contribution to the community. So there we go. That's how to create a LinkedIn post or could be any social media post based on a photo. So for task three, we're going to ask ChatGPT to provide recommendations on an Instagram feed. And for the purposes of this task, we're going to use the OpenAI Instagram feed as an example. So OpenAI are the company responsible for ChatGPT. So the prompt reads, assume that OpenAI is a client of NILC training who have tasked me with making some recommendations on improving their Instagram feed. Please give me some ideas and recommendations to get started. So we have the prompt there. We have the photo, the screenshot of OpenAI's Instagram feed, which this time I have copied and pasted into this area. So you can use the paperclip icon here. You can drag and drop or you can copy and paste images and photos or other files into this area. So let's fire that off 
and ChatGPT should come back with a response, which is going to be interesting because it's sort of criticizing itself uh, in a way. Uh, now, whilst it's doing that, it is worth noting that whilst I've, I've done this in terms of on behalf of a, a client and we're looking at a third party Instagram account, of course, you could do this for your own account and get some ideas for improvements on that as well. So uh, it's come back with some recommendations, improving focus on educational content, showcasing real world applications, enhancing engagement with interactive content, diversify visual styles, leveraging UGC, highlighting new features, utilizing story highlights, experimenting with AR filters and incorporating more human elements. So plenty of suggestions for improvements there. So really quite useful. It is worth noting that you can't directly put the link to the Instagram feed into ChatGPT. Instagram is one of those sites that bars access for that sort of thing. So with a lot of websites, you can ask for summaries and performance analysis. But in this case, I had to take a screenshot and drop it into ChatGPT that way. But there we go. Uh, lots of recommendations as requested. So for the fourth task, we're going to ask ChatGPT to help us with a meme. So I've uploaded the well-known Drake meme, where Drake in the top part of the meme is disapproving and he's approving in the bottom part of the meme. So my prompt is provide captions for this meme on the theme of training for businesses. So let's see what sort of sense of humor that ChatGPT has got. Uh, so we've got top panel, generic online courses, bottom panel, tailored training that delivers real results. Absolutely perfect. The right sort of uh, tone and totally appropriate for a training company's social media. So task four, creating text for a meme. So in this fifth and final task, we're going to ask ChatGPT to provide us with insights around a logo. So we're going to use the Microsoft logo as an example, and we're going to ask for general insights, including strengths and weaknesses, and also what we can learn about the company's brand from the logo. So let's fire off the prompt and see what ChatGPT makes of the Microsoft logo. So it's picked up the fact that it is indeed the Microsoft logo. It's provided us with the additional detail that it was created in 2012. It's giving us some strengths currently, and no doubt soon it will come on to weaknesses quite interesting points and detailed points it's coming back with now. And now finally, it's coming with information on the brand insights as requested, plus a conclusion. So job done in relation to that logo analysis there. That's just one straightforward example of what you can do. Another one perhaps is that you could upload your own logo or indeed even a logo of a competitor and ask for similar information or even how your competitor's logo compares with yours. So there we go, how to analyze a logo using ChatGPT.